How's it going guys? Today I'm gonna show you how you can fill areas for up to 35,000 blocks in just a few seconds using the slash fill command. With that you can also achieve cool stuff like this. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, I will start simple and then get more complicated the further we go. First off, let's um, lay down the basics. First, I want a pathway that leads me down this, this command block LA. <laughs> okay, so we will focus this block. I want the pathway to start here. So I will focus this block and I want you all to press F3. And if you look here, you can see your coordinates. But we will not using that today. We will use the coordinates at looking at block and then you see the coordinates of this block, which is really quite handy. So we type in slash fill and now I want you to use the tab key or alternatively you can type it manually. And now we have the coordinates of our first block. This is the corner where we will, where the pathway will start. Now we go to the corner that is then diagonally to that. So we want to go all the way to the back and where do we want it to end? Maybe here. Uh, yeah, here. And now one left and do the same again. Looking at block and we fill in the coordinates and now we type in with what we want to fill it. I want to fill it with smooth quartz. You can auto fill that as you could, as you could see if I take in smooth. There are autofill options. You can either use your arrow keys to navigate there and when you're done and you want to um, take that one, you can press tab, it will autofill it and you don't have to type it manually. Press enter and as you can see, the whole area is filled with smooth quartz. Pretty nice. Okay, so here we use the these little wriggly wave things, I don't know how they're called, and these uh, basically um, check your position, the position of this command block, and uh, this tells the command block the first corner is 4 to the left on the same height and 4 forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4 forward, and not a single block up. So this is the first corner. And the same we do with the second corner. Oh, ignore that. <laughs> and then when we have this, we fill in what we want to fill it with. End gateway is the block I showed you at the start. Okay, if we press that, it will be filled. Of course, we can also change that block. For example, if we have um, iron blocks already existing there, we can type in uh, for example, oak planks, oak, oak lock for example, oak lock, and press the button, it gets replaced. Easy as that. You can also place down pressure plates and stuff um, that isn't really a full block. Um, but not everything works, for example, buttons do not work properly, um, you might have to test that one out. Same command, just add pressure plates at the end. Of course we can also go higher. For that you have to, if you're using this method with the waves, you have to add at the second block, uh, the, the second coordinate, you have to add a plus 5. Because this is the normal height and you want it oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks higher. That's why you add the 5 here. And then you get a full and solid block of iron. Okay, next up we have some special commands that are really useful if you really understand them. Okay, so we have slash fill, the coordinates of the corner blocks, which are the same as this one, so this and all the way back here. These are the two corner blocks. Then um, we want to type in what you want to appear in that, in that specified area. And then there's a special command replace and if you type in replace you can now after that type in what what you want to replace in this scenario I want to replace 
stripped oak log, which is the smiley. So, according to this command, these, this stripped oak log in this whole area should be replaced with red concrete. And it works. Easy as that. Now, this is quite similar. If you have this fill command with the same area and you want the some you want to fill it but you don't want to destroy every block or fill every block or replace every block you want to keep everything that's inside and everything that is air you want to replace by this block you can just type in keep at the end and as you can see the smiley is still existing it, it did not get replaced next up we have the hollow command if we type in slash fill the specified area and I want to um, use the block C lantern and press the button it replaces everything by C lanterns but the inside is hollow as the command said also pretty useful if you build houses or big rooms or something okay next up we have outline um, what this does is we specify an area and then we use Minecraft C Lantern, that's the block. I want to outline this this area. So if you press it now, the outline gets replaced by C Lanterns, but the inside is still intact. That's a huge difference to hollow because hollow would destroy everything that's inside. Okay, and now the last one is destroy. You might want to be careful with that because it might get laggy in just a few minutes, uh, just a few moments. Now, if we specify an area and say with what we want to replace it with, it will destroy everything in that area including air blocks so everything in that area from here to here will get replaced by, by glass blocks and as it gets destroyed the block drops so we will have all the iron blocks that are inside here will drop let's test it out quite a bit of lag but now the items regroup and we can collect them as you can see this um, error did not drop any blocks because uh, we haven't had any blocks here but every other iron block everything dropped so be careful with that if you um, if you choose a area that is too big you might run into some lag issues or your server might um, crash or something because there are too many items on the ground so be careful uh, the destroy command does not drop any water or things you have to collect with shears, for example, the vines or uh, I don't know, grass or something. This does not drop. Uh, okay, this is pretty much it. Alright guys, this concludes this quick video. I hope you enjoyed it and if so, please consider to vandalize that like and subscribe button. If you have any video ideas you want to see in the future, let me know down in the comment section. Thanks for your support and I'm out.